Hi, I'm Paula Tinio of Yon Arts. We're at the LA Art Show. And it's my privilege to bring artists that are from the emerging country of Myanmar, which is the country of my birth. I'm an exile from Myanmar, so I was really, really surprised two years ago to go into Myanmar and find this incredible work that the artists who have been working for 40 years under a military regime have actually been able to incubate and create during that time. And far from being a time when the work was um, restricted, actually I found that the time under the military regime created an incubator for creativity. Um, and it's our mission to bring these arts on an international level. I want to just spotlight um, our artist Sandar Kine. And this is probably one of the most photographed pieces of art in uh, art fairs internationally. She's been in Singapore, London, uh, obviously Los Angeles, Hong Kong, and she was uh, just uh, last month featured in the New York Times for her amazing work. This is censored work. Um, it was produced under uh, duress because Sandar Khan was not allowed, no one was allowed to do any nudity uh, during that time, but she continued to do it because she was so interested in the human form. It's a very historically relevant, revolutionary piece of art because it's an Asian woman who's uh, heavy, and that's very different from the general uh, aesthetic of beauty of Asian women. And she's also staring back at the viewer. Instead of just being an object, she's staring back at the viewer and confronting the viewer playfully through the technological tool of a camera. And of course, the camera, I mean, this is, this is very unusual in a censored country where cameras have this reputation for documenting things that you're not supposed to document. Um, I see that you have a Canon camera right now. <laughs> so this is a Canon camera, by the way. So this is Sandar Kine. Um, this is one of her pupils. Sandar, because she's so amazing, is um, the matriarch of female artists in Myanmar. And this is one of her pupils' own own. She's working in oils, and she's subversively um, a feminist. These are actually ancient temple drawings from Pagan, and they're combined with own owns, own dream life. So she has been, she has the courage, the temerity to bring her own internal life as a woman into the drawings of um, temples, Buddhist temples. And that combination you see, they're kind of luminous and quiet and glowing, but they're actually quite a revolutionary statement as well. Uh, let me just feature another female artist, More More. More More focuses just on water drops because, of course, water is um, the, the highest form of gifting you can do in a Buddhist society. And in Burma, in Myanmar, it's um, Vipassana meditation. And these water drops sort of feature um, that idea of stillness and that Myanmar is on the cusp of something new. At the same time, the water drops symbolize sort of washing away the past and um, the sense that there is redemption for the future. Uh, Brang Lee, of course, is our youngest artist. We call him a young blood artist. And he sort of has street art. You know, he has a street art aesthetic. His headless figures symbolize what he considers um, the most devastating effect of living under a military regime, which is that you really can't organize your mind or your thoughts. You can't organize yourself under such a restrictive society. And this is called Cooking Without Food. And this one is called uh, Mirror With No Reflection. Mirror, of course, is the um, propagandist newspaper of the government. So it's reading without really absorbing anything of value at all. Uh, and I want to feature um, Kang Su. Kang Su is one of the artists that was able to travel to New York and imbibe the um, culture of the artists of New York. And he is pointing at very, very difficult images of um, the environmental devastation, deforestation of Myanmar's northern teak forests. And he gestures to it with the global symbol of a Mickey Mouse hand. That's sort of to bring in the rest of the world to say that even though these are local forest issues, they have a global impact. 
and also to make such a difficult subject um, more pertinent and accessible to people to bring in something more playful. He wants everyone to recognize and of course the wing is an idea that there is redemption. Nature is always able to uh, resuscitate or renovate itself. This is his Renovatio series. Uh, Sonang is our abstract expressionist painter. It's very difficult to paint abstractly in, a, um, in such a restrictive military regime. And he has been able to do this in this sort of pre-verbal calligraphic mark making that he does. It has that aerial quality of uh, Jackson Pollock. And indeed, Sonang paints on the floor in multi-layered um, expressions. I'm really glad that we had a chance to share this work with you at Yon Arts. I'm Paula Tignot. Thank you for visiting our booth at the LA Art Show number 1117.